What's up guys, it's Megan and today I am doing the look at this stuff, isn't it neat? tag and this was originally started by Miss Cherry so if you want to go check out her video I will link that down below. I was tagged by my friend Beth and I will also link her channel below and her video so thank you so much Beth for tagging me. I can't wait to show you guys my Disney collection. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like Disney please consider subscribing and let's just hop into my favorite Disney items. The first item for this is my favorite Mickey Mouse item. It was really hard for me to choose a lot of these items. I actually have doubles for some of them, but what I had to come down to was my Hidden Mickey book. I really love my Hidden Mickey book. It is something that I like to search for while I'm at the parks. I have done this with my mom. It is such a fun activity for anyone. I like to highlight the ones that I found. Um, I have a lot to go. My Hidden Mickey book is probably my favorite Mickey Mouse item. <laughs> this next one is my favorite Disney artwork. And I actually picked two because I picked one that was given to me as a gift. So I was really lucky. My brothers got me this as a gift. It is a Thomas Kincaid painting and it is of Beauty and the Beast and their castle. It is so beautiful. I really love artwork. So this is such a wonderful gift. They got it for me for my birthday a couple of years ago. So I am so grateful to them. And this next piece I want to show is one that I did. It is actually a replication of a Disney piece. That's the best I can do with no glare but I'll insert a picture of it here too. <laughs> the next item on here is my favorite Disney princess item. This one was really hard for me to choose. I noticed that I don't collect that much Disney princess stuff, even though I love it and I'm wearing a Beauty and the Beast necklace right now. Uh, I would have to say it's probably these Snow White and old hag ears I made for my mom. I really love Snow White. She's really, really beautiful. She's one of my favorite princesses. But then also we have this ColourPop eyeshadow palette. And if you guys don't know, I really love makeup too. It has all of these gorgeous eyeshadows. And then it also has all the princesses' signatures. So I truly love this item. So this next one is my favorite Disney plush item. This was kind of hard for me, uh, mostly because I collect a lot of plushes. As you could see, I have some of them right here. And I really love this Sally. I got it in a subscription box, Bippity Boppity Boxes, and I can link that video up here, or wherever, what side it is. Um, I love Sally. I think she's just the cutest thing. But then also, I love Lotso, and Lotso smells like strawberries, and I don't know why I never took off the tags of him, but I probably should, but Lotso Huggin' Bear, how could you not love him and the smell of strawberries, so yeah, I love him. <laughs> the next question is my favorite pair of ears, and boy do I have a lot of ears, as you can obviously <laughs> see in the background here. Um, but I do have to say, I really enjoy making my own ears. It's really fun for me. And I made this pair for my mom. And I think they're probably one of my favorite pairs. I also just made a Baymax one that I really love. But these ones light up. I made them for her for, to go to Pandora. And I think they're really beautiful. I love them. I love that they light up. And I'm really proud of them, but my favorite like Disney parks ears has to be my Sally ones, which are right here. They're up there and they have Sally stitches on them. They're really beautiful ears and I love wearing ears. I have so many pairs. <laughs> the next item on the list was my favorite free Disney souvenir. And I do have a lot of these, but I'm gonna show two of my favorite ones. This is a, a drawing that I got at the Flower and Garden Festival. I think it was 2016. It was given to me as being an annual pass holder. Um, I was an annual pass holder in 2015, 2016, uh, 2017, and 2018 now. So 
I did skip a couple years uh, at some point, but I love this. It has little Donalds all over it, but I really love this print. The second free souvenir that I love is this Jack and Sally autograph card. I do have one up here in the back. I've actually gotten several of them now because I love meeting Jack and Sally. And on this side, so this is from 2016, it says Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2016, but I love these signatures. I love Jack and Sally. I love meeting them. <laughs> the next item is my favorite Disney attractions item. And a lot of you probably know that the Haunted Mansion is my favorite Disney attraction. I have a lot of Haunted Mansion stuff. Um, I will be showing another one later, but my favorite has to be my Madame Leota Dooney and Burke purse. <laughs> I actually have another Haunted Mansion Dooney and Burke purse. I have a couple of videos about my Disney purses because I have, <laughs> I have a true obsession with them. It's really bad, but this is my favorite one. I use it every day. Uh, purple is my favorite color. So you guys see it more. Um, it's currently in use, so a lot of the stuff in here is really heavy, a lot of textbooks, but it is my favorite Disney attractions item. The next item on here is my favorite Disney pin, and oh boy, this one was really hard. I love my Disney pins. I have so many of them. It's really hard to choose. I it really came down to the, the line of my Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party pins, especially my 2015 one with the Haunted Mansion design, of course, but I had to go with my Jumbo Haunted Mansion pin. I really love this pin. It is so gorgeous. The case of it is even cooler though. I mean, I have a little Haunted Mansion here. Like, it's so cool. It was an Ellie of 500. I really love this pin. It's the only jumbo pin I have and it's along with my favorite attractions. <laughs> so this next item is my Disney item that has the most sentimental value. I would pick photographs. I know a lot of people are doing that. My mom doesn't want to be in my YouTube videos so I am respecting that. I won't show any videos or pictures of my family but obviously I would choose that. Another, I have two actually that I picked. Um, the first is my grandma and grandpa used to live in Florida so uh, we went to Walt Disney World while we were down there visiting them and my grandpa gave me all of his old tickets. So we have this ticket from 1987. We have this ticket from 1995. I have, you know, a whole stack of them. And I have them lined up behind me. I really cherish these. My grandpa gave them to me because he couldn't think of anyone else better to give them to and to appreciate. Um, I am so lucky that he gave them to me. And I just, I love this. I cherish them so much, even though they're just tickets, you know, they're used tickets. Uh, it really means a lot to me that he gave them. And this next item is also very important. It is the Disney's Treasury of Children's Classics from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves to Pocahontas. If you open this front page, you can barely see it on the gold, but over here, it says 1997, Merry Christmas, Megan. May the magic of Disney stay with you throughout your your life. We hope you enjoy the Disney stories. Love my aunt and uncle and cousins. And <laughs> this is an item that I've had obviously for a long time. I still cherish this book. I still cherish all of these stories in here. The artwork is gorgeous. Um, it's a really thick book. I'm really grateful for my family for giving me these items. Obviously, my the most sentimental value items have to do with my family. I love my family. The next item is my favorite sidekick item. 
I don't have, like, I can't think of too many, but I don't feel like I have too many sidekick items. Maybe in pins, but I'm trying to not show too many pins because I want to show some other parts of my collection. But obviously I love Zero. I added on a pair of ears to him because he is the true sidekick. I am such a dog lover. I love, love Zero. He's just the cutest and he's such an amazing dog. So I love The Nightmare Before Christmas and I love Zero. So he is my favorite sidekick. Obviously besides Pain and Panic, but I don't have any items from them. The next item on the list is my favorite Disney apparel item. Of course, I love my purses, but I have been so obsessed with these Tokyo Disneyland shirts. Like, they are the coolest thing ever. I have a Toy Story one and a Snow White one, and then just in the mail, it's supposed to come tomorrow when I'm filming this video, I am getting a Hercules one and a Lion King one from Cakeworthy, so I will definitely show you guys those when I get them, but gosh, I love these shirts so much. Now, I am not too big of a Star Wars fan. I do like the movies and I do like the theme park attractions, but when it comes to Star Wars versus Marvel, hands down, Marvel wins. I am such a Marvel fan and Spider-Man is my favorite superhero, so obviously I have to go with this item. It is my zip-up hoodie. It zips all the way. It's gonna look so funny with my bun, but it zips all the way up. Uh, <laughs> this sweatshirt <laughs> was given to me by my cousin and my aunt, and uh, obviously I love Spider-Man. It's so much fun to wear this, and this is my favorite Marvel item. The next item is my favorite villains item and this is so, so hard to pick because I love my villains and I collect a lot of villains things. So Halloween, villains, Nightmare Before Christmas, that is most of my collection. I obviously really love my poison apple stein. I love my popcorn bucket, but something that has more sentimental value to me is this purse that I painted for my mom. I know I'm showing like a lot of the things that I made, but that's what has, you know, importance to me. That's what I love is my mom's evil queen purse that I painted for her. Uh, I really love the evil queen. It reminds me of my mom as I joke in the nicest way possible. And then I also have this Disney studio store Hollywood PTD pin. Um, it is an LE of 400. And like I said, really reminds me of my mom. My mom always used to dress up as the evil queen when I was a kid for Halloween. And Snow White is obviously one of her favorite movies. The evil queen is her villain. She is the evil queen. And so anything evil queen reminds me of my mom. I love it. And I love Snow White, but gosh, I love all villains. Ugh. So hard to choose. The next item on here is my perfect Disney Park outfit. And while I'm talking here, I will insert a clip of me dressed in my outfit. And I really love this dress. It is so pretty. And I really love Sally. Like I said, I have not worn this to the park yet, even though I have so many other Disney outfits. But gosh, I can't wait to wear this on Halloween. The next item on here is my favorite souvenir from a Disney specialty event. And I have never been to <laughs> Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. One day I will have to go, but I have been to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party for the last five years, so I have collected some merchandise from those events. This is probably one of my favorite items that I picked up from it. Oogie Boogie does not come with a keychain, but I have my Oogie Boogie popcorn bucket. It was, it felt like a trophy to carry around last year when I had gotten it and like I said, it was so hard for me to pick all these items because I love my Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party pins, especially my 2015 one. Uh, but I have to give it to Oogie Boogie here, my main man. I love him. The last item on here is my most favorite item from my Disney collection. I feel like it has to be something sentimental, but for me, life has always been about moments and about, you know, journeys and for me Disney has definitely been one magical moment and it's because of this item that I have been able to experience all this happiness and joy and that is because of my annual pass. This is my most favorite item in my whole Disney collection. I know that it is for one year and it's not something that I can own forever 
but for that one year it's it brings so much happiness to me and I like ugh, I can't even talk about it because it makes me really emotional how much I really love Disney and uh, I'm really grateful that I am able to get this to use it and this is by far my favorite Disney item. I really want to say thank you so much to everyone who has gotten through this very long video. I know that other people have been doing really long videos too so it makes me feel a little bit better. I really love showing off my collection of Disney items. It makes me feel really special. I love reminiscing about memories and um, this is a tag video so I'm gonna have to tag one of my partner channels, Disney Dan. I know Corey was tagged in another video so Dan, I can't wait to see your Disney collection. Thank you again so much to Beth for tagging me. If you guys want to do this video too, I will post all the questions down below in the description. And just let me know that you've done it. I would love to watch your videos. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you have a magical day. Please be sure to hit that thumbs up and uh, see you real soon. Bye.